Hello, welcome back to Beer Crony Beer Reviews. My name's Chris and tonight we're off to the Brasserie de Chouf and we're looking at the Cherry Chouf, uh, Belgian beer coming in at 8%. Uh, so yeah, being called Cherry Chouf, we're expecting this to be cherry, aren't we? And I have read the ingredients on the back of here. The writing's tiny. I just want to read these ingredients out to you. I'm going to have to put on my cheap old Wilco reading glasses um, because the writing's so small and my eyesight's so bad. And I'm going to have to hold it up quite close. So Belgian beer with cherry flavour, as we'd expect. Flavoured is an interesting word, flavoured. With sugar and sweetness. Ingredients, water, barley malt, invert sugar solution. I'm not entirely sure what an invert sugar solution is. 12% sour cherry. Doesn't say whether they're real cherries. Hot. Which probably should say hops, but hop. Black carrot concentrate, aroma, and sweeteners. And then it does say which one of the sweeteners it is, which I can't see because of the green bush that's behind the word, but it's something. Acetylum, oh, I can't read what that says. Acet something acephalamine and stelvio glycoids. So Stelvio is a, a sugar replacement as well. So it sounds like there's an awful lot of sugars and sweeteners in here, uh, which is a bit alarming really, isn't it? For a, a cherry, I'd like it to say that it's got real cherry flavor in it, as in real cherry juice. Even if it said real cherry concentrate, that would be good. Uh, so not a good start, uh, but on the front, you've got a typical type of shoof artwork on the front and a bit of a funky bottle cap really. I don't normally show bottle caps, but there you go, if you can see that. So anyway, so I'm a bit disappointed on the off. I picked this up at my local off license. They do a fantastic range of um, craft beers as well and different types of ales and Belgian beers, etc. Really, really great range in uh, an off license. So really pleased that that's there. And I picked this one up. Uh, I think it was about three quid, I think, potentially. Might have been less, I can't remember. So let's get her open. Let's get her in a glass, see how she looks, see how she sniffs, see how she tastes. So yeah, there you go, there's another close up. Don't know if that's focusing or not of the bottle cap. So let's get her in the glass. Let's see what it's all about then after the disappointment of reading the back. Certainly got a cherry look in color on initial pour. Comes in 8% AVB, I think I said that. Um, half a finger head sitting on there. Um, but yeah. Certainly got a, a cherry colour to it. I don't know how well you can see that as usual with my ring light. But yeah, from where I'm looking at through that light, it's definitely got a cherry cherry hue to it, a deep sort of cherry hue to it. So yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, as I say, the head's dissipating quite quickly. Um, but yeah, so not bad looking. Certainly cherry coloured. Let's see how she sniffs. And it's definitely got a, a cherry aroma and there is a sweetness to it. It has got the, the usual sort of typical Belgian beer aromas you'd expect in there as well. With the overriding of the cherry. It's got a bit of spiciness to it. And the usual Belgian aromas as I say. It's got that sort of candied banana sort of aroma to it with cherry, cherry and banana. Not sure if they're a good combination, but definitely a sweetness of cherry. I wanted a, real, a, a, a different type of cherry aroma. I'm already in my head, I think it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a true cherry, a, a synthetic. So already in my mind, I'm thinking synthetic and sweetener based, just based off those ingredients. So let's see how she tastes and let's just crack on and see how she tastes. Let's get involved and see how she tastes. Cheers everyone. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, that is sweet. That's really sweet. Yeah, it's it's not. Oh, it's such a shame. I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be good. And it is. 
but it's not what I was expecting. Definitely got a, a real, the real cherry sweetness, but the cherry sweetness of sweets, it's like a sweet. It's not what I'd call a proper cherry juice and cherry fruit. It's, it's like eating sweets with a Belgian beer background to it. And it, it does work, but it is really, really sweet. It is very, very sweet. Um, and it is more like sweets. I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you sweet that you'd liken it to. I don't dislike it though. I just wasn't expecting it to be that sweet. And it's, it reminds me of uh, sweets that I used to have come in a packet, long packet called Cherry Drops. You can still buy Cherry Drops. I think they're made by Barrett's or something like that. And, and they're really nice. I love Cherry Drops. And I do like cherry flavoured, um, I do like cherry flavoured sweets, but I know they're cherry flavoured sweets. With a cherry flavoured beer, I want real cherry flavour. I don't want that sweetness that you get from cherry flavoured sweets. Um, you know, I like things like cherry brandies. I like, I vape, I like cherry flavoured vapes. You know, and I accept them for what they are, but this is, this is a beer. And so I was expecting more and it's a Belgian beer. So I always expect a bit more because the Belgians make tremendously good beers. And it's just really, really sweet. It's like sucking a cherry drop whilst eat, whilst drinking, say something, um, like, it's like, like that. It's like a golden drack while sucking on a cherry drop. It, it doesn't particularly work really, really well because it's too sweet. It's too much like eating a mouthful of sweets or cherry Harry bows or something like that. It's not bad, but it, I wouldn't buy it again. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, is it sweets? It's like eating a, having a mouthful of cherry flavored sweets, like cherry drops. Almost bordering on a bit medicinal type, like some sort of cherry cough medicine. And it's quite overpowering. It consumes all of that. And maybe it should be in that it's a cherry, but it's the wrong type of cherry. I didn't want it to taste like I've got a mouthful of cherry drops or a mouthful of Harry Bows, and that's what it is. Might suit some people. Some people might absolutely love it. Uh, Eight percent. You certainly wouldn't want a session. Those that's got that's got puke written all over it. A few of those, and I think you'd, you'd probably be bringing them back up because of that sweetness and all the sugars that are in there. That's not gonna. It's not gonna impress your stomach. Um, trying to think where I could fit this. Where I'd where I'd place it. Where would I drink it? And I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure where that would go. What I'd, I don't know what I'd, food I'd have that with. I can't think of a food I'd have that with. Would I have it after a big lush meal? No, because I, I don't want that type of sweetness hit. So I don't see where it fits. It doesn't fit for me anywhere, but it might for you, you know. Go and watch some other reviews. I'm sure there's some out there. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, but it, yeah, it's just too sweet. It's just too cherry sweet, as in it tastes like having a mouthful of sweets. I've said it a million times, haven't I? So I'm not going to keep going on. I'll definitely drink it, definitely finish it. And if someone bought me one, I'd drink it. I wouldn't give it away, I'd drink it. But overall, it's not for me. Just not my cup of tea. So there you go, that's my review. I've got a few other fruit beers coming. I've got one from a uh, two from Sam Smith's Brewery. Uh, and some others so i'll be getting those done as well they're a bit kind of festive some of them the fruit beers aren't they but yeah that's me done not overly impressed with the uh, cherry shoof uh, but yeah check it out for yourself would i recommend it no would i buy it again definitely not but i'm glad i bought i'm glad i've given it a, given it a go so there you go that's me done if you like the video give it a like and i'd really appreciate it if you press the subscribe button as well but you don't have to <laughs> and that's me i'm done have a great day whatever you've got left of it all the best take care everybody bye now